It's a simple procedure. Uh, small incisions made in the scrotum right over the old vasectomy scar. This is where the vas deferens, which is the tube that carries sperm from the testicle to the base of the penis, was cut and tied and it scarred shut. So the vasectomy scar is cut out from the vas deferens, leaving two fresh ends to reconnect. And these ends are very small, about the thickness of a large piece of spaghetti. But the actual channel that runs through the vas deferens is way smaller. It's about a third of a millimeter in diameter. Now I use an operating microscope to magnify this tube many times, and then I precisely reconnect this tiny channel with micro sutures. These are stitches that are so tiny they're almost invisible to the human eye, but with the aid of the operating microscope, I can place several of these micro sutures to connect the passageway all the way around and in two separate layers. Now after the surgery, your husband can go home the same day, but he has to avoid exercise, and here's probably the toughest part. He has to avoid sex for four weeks. Ooh. Wow. Uh, now the pregnancy is going to occur uh, right after the uh, abstinence period, but typically occur within about a year. And this operation will restore sperm back flowing in over 90% of cases. However, the take-home baby rate is going to be dependent on a variety of factors, including uh, Lynn's fertility and also how long it's been since the vasectomy. Now, in some cases, it can be over 90% take-home baby rate in very special circumstances. But uh, with your husband at six years out, his success rate is probably about 50 to 60%, which is quite good in the world of infertility treatment. So you and your husband are definitely potentially a very good candidate for him to get rehooked up. Thanks so much, right. Dr. Thank Spitz. Thank you. All right, my pleasure, guys. Take care.